Hello guys, welcome to another video. It's your boyfriend and it's been a while. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create new effects from scratch. This is like a recap of a video I've already made, but a lot of people still have issues like, you know, getting to understand the process. So I'm going to break it down and show you how I do it so easy. Yeah, so let's get into first show. So now we have an image right here already edited. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to separate our image from our background and to do that we're gonna go to the selection tool right here and go to this top side and select cloud we click on this arrow and select cloud and we're gonna select subject and while we're doing this because we want a more detailed selection on our subject this is quite a new feature on photoshop so if you're using the latest version you should have this so it has selected our image you can zoom in to check for any errors so after that all we're going to do is we're going to click the selection so and right click and select inverse now we want to duplicate our background layer so we have two layers there so still on this selection we're going to select we're going to click command x which is to cut the background and command v to paste the background so now we have another layer with the background cropped out so i'm going to pick this background and put it just behind this layer so now we have background layer and we have the subjects we have subjects so now what we want to do is create a shadow and in order to do that we're going to create a new layer and we'll go back to the subject and click on command and we'll just hit this icon right here on this layer it's going to automatically select the subject so now we're going to go back to this layer because we want to create a shadow we're going to click on this paint bucket and make sure it's on black color and we're just going to tap on the image like so and you can see it has created a shadow effect so now i want to pull this shadow so now let's rename this to shadow now we're going to bring this shadow behind the subject and if you want to see your shadow you can just bring it out so we're not there yet so next thing we want to do is create another layer and this layer we're going to call it this note effect Now this note effect is us creating that separate thing on the image. So in order to do that, we're going to draw a circle and to get the perfect circle, we'll hold down shift to get the perfect circle. So after drawing the circle, we're going to right click and select inverse. Now we're going to add some feathers so the edges of the circle will not be too sharp and unreal. So now we're going to add some feather and we're going to feather it to 50. 50 is good. Now we're going to go to the paint bucket. And just tap the external part of the circle like so and we're gonna see something like this so now we can deselect and you can see our image is already having the circle thing so now we want to reduce the opacity of this note effect to look a bit to look realistic something like this so now we'll now go back to the shadow now we're gonna drag the shadow out just like so you can bring it down showing that the light is coming from up down or you can take it side or you can take it this side whichever you see your photo lighting is coming from so i'm going to just bring it down uh, down to my right so now i'm also going to apply some blur so it doesn't look funny so i'm going to apply a blur this time which is Gaussian blur but this time around i'm going to use 10. yeah you can play around it to see whatever works for you but I feel 10 works so good. So now I'm going to reduce the general opacity of the shadow to match with our background. Like something like this. You can make it lighter. You can make it as dark as the snot effect. It's just something that will make it look real. So let's just say like this 50%. So now I'm going to go down. You can see the shadow effect is also showing and this is where the light is not touching so that needs to be taken out so i'm going to use my eraser tool and just clean those parts out like this so it just focus on the top side 
of the image so this is how you create a snoot effect the easiest way the fastest way and it's going to look so realistic you can check out my store on the link on the description i have multiple effects for your backgrounds i have ai backgrounds ready for you to use you just head down to the store and purchase any of them you like and i'll see you on the next video ciao